and welcome to the Zoe Marley channel. I am super excited to be here. I hope you are too. Today we're going to be talking about getting through the middle. We're going to be talking about defining all of the important elements within each scene and you know if you kind of have a saggy middle how you can fix it. So even though I feel like I have a lot of really good videos on the middle I wanted to add one more and that is because I have been struggling so hard with the middle of my story that I wanted to do additional research and anytime I learn something new I want to share it with you. So that's what today's video is going to be about and the tips within this video what I was reading to help share this information with you came from a book called The Plot Whisperer by uh, Martha Alderson and here you go want to look at it real quick. I will say this is one of my top six favorite how-to writing books. I really enjoy it. I think it does a really good job of going over in detail the fundamentals. So if you're someone very very new to writing this is a great book to take a look at. Now in her book on page 161 there was this amazing chart. I mean the whole book is great but this particular chart how I am like my like check boxes right like okay got this check got this check and I find that it's just a very quick and easy way to see where you're going right and where you're not going right and this specific scene guide helped me so much so it's got seven specific elements that it asks you for each of your scenes the first is easy date and setting. The second one says the character's emotional development. This is really big because at the end of the day, even if you have a plot driven story, the reason readers connect to your work is for the character development. The next subject is the goal. And this is what does your character want to get accomplished in this specific scene. We talk about goals often, I know, I know, and they ain't going anywhere, I'm sorry. <laughs> someone that doesn't like making goals this is then I apologize but for me especially I mean even in my personal life I'm very goal oriented and so it's very easy for me to be like all right this scene has one purpose and this is it it's the other stuff that kind of I get shaky about so the next is like the dramatic action in this scene what is the tension specifically is there a breakup? Is there a fight between two people? What is going on to really put that tension, to raise the stakes in that specific scene? So for the conflict, does it have conflict? Yes. If it doesn't have conflict, make some conflict. Next is going to be talking about how this emotionally changes your character. And so we know they have a goal. We know that there's going to be tension. The hard ones for me is the dramatic action and then understanding how that dramatic action influences your character to have some sort of emotional response. What is that emotional response? Do they change from that emotional response? And what actions do they take because of that emotional response? And then the last one is thematic significance. So let's get into this for a second. So for the thematic significance, the way I look at this, and I know there are a few different ways to look at it, but me personally, I love symbolism. I believe having a theme in your story really adds the depth that every story needs to allow symbolism to come into your story and really depict your theme in different ways. It's almost like your subconscious is like, poke, 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 remember. I also think it's a, another way to just beautifully tie things into a story. And so when I saw this chart, I was like, yes, let me look at these scenes that I'm having issues with. And a lot of the time it revolved around the character growth. And a lot of the time for me, it revolved around not having the dramatic action, like people were getting along a little too well, or it didn't have that emotional change that your character needs to experience. So at the end of the day, when we look at our Save the Cat Beads, we know we're leading up to the Dark Night of the Soul. So here's a little excerpt from the Plot Whisperer on that. Readers feel deep and intense emotions in their bodies and live moment by moment with the character. Stories tell us that we too 
can survive the dark night of the soul. We, too, can know the moment consciousness slays the ego. At their core, stories are about character transformation. The crisis serves as a slap in the face, a wake-up call, the moment when the character becomes aware of life's deeper meaning. Life takes the protagonist by the shoulders, shakes her until she sees life and herself as both really are. The crisis jolts the character into new acceptance, one in which transformation flourishes. Unless an event creates some sort of learning, awakening, or consciousness, it does not constitute a true crisis. Throughout the entire beginning and middle of a story, antagonists are always more powerful than the protagonists and seem to find just the right buttons to push to bring out the worst in the protagonist. After the threshold following the crisis, all of that changes. For now, the antagonist rule. The height of the antagonist power comes at the crisis when the protagonist is confronted by a moment of truth. Thereafter, nothing is ever the same. I added an additional box in my checklist for this one specific moment. I really liked it. And that was to see how the antagonist, either directly or indirectly, showed themselves more powerful than my protagonist. I have a pretty big series. So this is something that was really interesting for me because I don't just have one main bad guy. I have several. And even though you don't know all of them are bad in the very beginning, it eventually comes out. I still have it for those specific antagonists and how they're kind of like puppeting the scenes or whatever the case may be. You'll see. Anyway, I felt like this really helped me, so I did want to share. I hope you enjoy it. Have a wonderful day, and I will see you again soon. Bye! Bye.